it was difficult from day one. From the hospital itself, I was not able to get the latch correctly. Some people even told me it's it's normal to you know experience pain. Pain is normal, but it's not normal. You know, it's not supposed to be a painful process. I was struggling. It was always a shallow latch for me. I was not able to get the latch perfect. I was not able to get it right without uh, personal guidance. I'm Natasha, first time mother, currently at home all the time with my baby. I'm not working. Uh, it's a luxury actually to be able okay. to be with your baby. Uh, she's almost, almost seven months now. And okay. It's been a wonderful journey so far. Uh, as a first time mom, uh, the world has changed for me after her birth. It's only right. gotten better. Uh, there have been a lot of lows. I'm sure every mother will know it. Initially, it's yeah. difficult. But yeah. uh, the highs, uh, like I say, are always worth it. Like nothing can compare to motherhood. I think. Honestly, for me, I thought breastfeeding is like a natural process. I think very few mothers have voiced this issue out but I realized only later that it's a skill that you get to uh, you know uh, hone as as the time uh, goes by. So for me it was difficult from day one. From the hospital itself I was not able to get the latch correctly and uh, okay. at the hospital they had told us uh, the lactation consultant had come and she said that you have to keep practicing but honestly first two months really I suffered. Like I okay. didn't know. Uh, some people even told me it's, it's normal to you know it's experience pain, pain is normal, but it's not normal, you know, it's not supposed to be a painful process. So I think first two months, really, I can confidently say I was struggling and uh, okay. I discovered baby lamb a little late in my journey. From the initial go, it was not easy for me. In my case, it was not low milk. I had uh, from the first day, like after she was born itself, uh, supply was good, not a problem, the supply, but the latch was a huge issue. I could not get the deep latch as it's called. It was always a shallow latch for me. I was not able to get the latch perfect. So okay. That took a while. Yes, uh, I watched a lot of videos and a lot of YouTube and, and everywhere I went online uh, said this, more or less said the same things. Uh, the technique is there, uh, you know, in terms of how you hold the baby, the position. These things are repetitive, but uh, somehow it was, I was not able to get it right without uh, personal guidance. So okay. for me, I was not able to get, like, I think I must have tried in the sense, I must have only tried different uh, positions and then try to hold the head. There's a certain technique to it. So I tried techniques as such, but mm -hmm. uh, I was always failing at, at the last bit of it. Like I was too scared maybe as a mother to do something wrong and I was not waiting for the right moment. Like they say, uh, you okay. know, there's a moment you have to be very quick and uh, let the baby latch on. So the timing was wrong for me. Yeah. So I, I did try what was said there on the internet. There's certain things they will say to hold the baby like this, to hold the baby like that. It was on my Instagram. Uh, I think I was watching a lot of baby reels. So baby Rama was in the suggestion and uh, I came across baby Baby Rama is, uh, I think, one of their reels or something like that. And then I got to know that there's a whole program with this subscription uh, thing. They help you with, you know, certain uh, new mothers, especially. They help you with uh, consultations from lactation, doctors, pediatrician. Also, I said, this is definitely for me now because mm -hmm. uh, I'm struggling. So my my thing to go to Baby Nama was because of the whole lactation process also. They started with, uh, you started with few uh Three webinars that I yeah. had signed on to the WhatsApp group. So that's yeah. I attended those first, and I found that the uh, the consultations were uh, very good. Although they were like you know they had, they had kept it to a short time, but the information was good, and I was not aware of a lot of things that they were talking about. So I okay. started with one consultation, uh, and uh, post that I became a subscriber. Uh, so I think every mother might have different problems. In my case, it was the uh, the positioning and the latching. So for okay. me, um, the consultation told me uh, the consultant told me. Uh, to change the position which I was headstrong on trying one specific uh, sitting upright and she mm -hmm. guided me she said try the sideline now baby's two months you can try the sideline position and take it from there so once you get the latch in this position maybe you'll be able to apply it in the other position so I was very hesitant in the moment uh, in that moment but I said since, you know, since she's uh, more experienced let me try it and she was right I just followed her guidance and uh, I got the latch right from the sideline position and of course that I was able to you know, uh, attain that with other feeding positions. That was my, and, yes, yes, definitely. Like, I think that was the first time I, I did not feel pain. And this was like, <laughs> so the possibility <laughs> came in. So this, like they said, breastfeeding is such a magical journey. I'm like, what magic is happening? Mere zata nahi ho tha tab tha. The moment I realized, ki, okay, for this time it has not hurt me. So I'm like, okay, if this is how it is, I can breastfeed for very long. It's, it's okay. Like I can go on with this because okay. there was a point I almost gave up. I said, I don't think this is my thing. Uh, my, my sister had an amazing experience. Other people have had experiences, but maybe it's not for me. So there was a point I was only going to pump and feed through bottle. But okay. thanks. <laughs>
I think to baby Rama's uh, awareness and all of this that I I did not go that route and I was able to successfully breastfeed her. Now uh, she's just started solids and she's uh, doing well. She is uh, eating uh, well, uh, but it's only okay. one meal a day, sometimes twice. So hopefully, right. I think by one year she'll be established. If it goes, uh, WHO says two years. Yeah. But uh, if she is fully on solids by one and a half year, then maybe I'll I'll take it down because we plan to have more children. So I want to nourish my body. Yes. Definitely, like uh, it may uh, seem like should I, should I not? Doctors are available every time, but baby Nama having a, just that approach of somebody at you know on WhatsApp available to answer your questions creates so much of an ease because motherhood initially, especially those first uh, few months, it's it's very stressful for any mother because body is healing and mentally also you're going through so much. So just to uh, lower your stress, join baby Nama, and uh, you will see how people uh, actually help you. And and uh, even the doctors are there. The, the growth calls, those also help me so much to understand that my baby needs to do this more or this less or something like that. So it just creates a stress-free uh, motherhood uh, journey in the initial month. Very, very important. So please don't hesitate. It, you may feel like uh, you have to pay money or something of that sort, but don't think about it. Like some, sometimes you have to uh, go for what is more uh, important for you mentally. And that's what Baby Nama provides. You know, just a uh, seamless motherhood uh, experience in the couple of months.